after you find a big adventure, you can come with us, right? Sure I am. I'm your dad's right-hand man. How well do you know him? Oh, hardly at all. I went through police work. Why? Well, she's going to be really surprised to hear that your dad's contact here. When we were talking the other day, she was asking questions, and she wanted to know who dad's friend was. Yes, Daddy, Tom is married, but his wife is filing for a divorce. Daddy, he's not at all like Casey. You'd approve him all the way. You met his father. Oh, Daddy, he's here. Be sure to back me up on this, okay? Bye. Yeah, I changed my mind. Why, who were you expecting? Well, actually, Tom Hughes was going to drop by. I, I needed legal advice on some things, and he was busy all day. Oh, well, in that case, I'll just split. I mean, it's oh, no, 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 don't be silly. Don't be silly. Come on in. Come on in. What's in the bag? Hmm, let's see. I got uh, fresh pasta, prosciutto, uh, parmesan, a uh, couple of bottles of Fianti. I thought I'd take you up on your offer, you know, your kitchen, my gourmet expertise, but if Tom's coming, I'm... Oh, he's not coming till later. The offer definitely still stands. I'm starving. Thank you. But why are you changing your plans? I thought you were going to stop by the Hughes' in Texas training. Well, I called over there on my way out of the hospital. I spoke to Franny's granny. She didn't seem to know where they were. I hope everything's okay. You said earlier that you thought that she and Steph are having problems. Yeah, but they're in love, so whatever it is, I'm sure they'll work it out, right? There you saw Franny at the hospital. I'm... I'm sorry. I wanted to be the one to tell you. She must hate me. I hope not, Sabrina. But she's very angry. I'm confused. And so am I. I have no idea of your feelings for Seth. Can you explain? Why I did such a terrible thing to my own sister. I don't know, Father. I don't know. I've been attracted to Seth so long now. I've denied denied those feelings. And when I was finally forced to accept them as real, I honestly thought I could handle them. Last night, at the pond, I, I found I... I couldn't handle them. I should have stopped him when he kissed me, but I, I couldn't. Because I've loved him for so long. It wasn't his fault. I allowed him to make love to me because I've wanted him more than I've ever wanted anything in my entire life. This portion brought to you today by Cascade, powder and liquid cascade for virtually spotless dishes. And by Fixident for a hold that really makes a difference. Fixident and forget it. Hey, it may take a little while for the water to boil. Um, if Tom wants to join us, tell him there's plenty of food. Oh, well, that's a great idea, Casey, but. Would you mind asking him? I don't know him all that well. Sure. I imagine Tom must be awfully lonely what, with the separation from Margot. Yeah, well, now they're really separated because Margot's down in Florida working on a murder case. You got any wine glasses? Yeah, I'll get them. You must be lonely, too. Have you heard from Lila since you went to New York? No, and I really didn't expect to. Are you going to be in New York for her opening? Well, I wanted to be, but uh, she didn't want me to be. <laughs> She wants the time alone. Well, maybe the time will work to your advantage. She gets to thinking about things. She's bound to realize what she's missing. And... Let's not talk about Lila, okay? I propose a toast. To a pleasant evening with Fred. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, what's all this legal stuff you need Tom's advice on, if you don't mind my asking? Well, my contract with the memorial is up for renewal, and uh, Daddy's hospital in Philadelphia has made me a terrific offer. Well, leave it to good old Daddy. 
You want an answer by tomorrow, and I don't know what to do, so I thought that Tom could give me some advice. Well, I thought you liked working at Memorial. I do. I love it. But Philadelphia General is also an excellent hospital, and, well, uh, things certainly would be better between you and Lila if I were to meet her. Taylor, I've already told you that problems between Lila and I have nothing to do with you. We were just using you as an excuse to avoid uh, a lot of things. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up again. It's all right, it's all right. It was probably unavoidable. You want some more? No, not yet. And if you don't slow down, you won't be able to see the stove, much less cook on it. Hey, no problem. Us Italians know how to hold our vino. I'm going to go start the sauce. To a pleasant evening with friends. It was a selfish, deceitful thing to do. Seth had no idea it was you? No, no. Not until after I... I spoke. It wasn't his fault. It was entirely mine. I... I could have stopped him. I... I should have. Yes, you should have. Franny's called off the wedding. I know. I've ruined everything. You must hate me. Hate you? I don't hate you, Sabrina. You're my daughter, too. But you have to accept the responsibility for what you've done. Look, I, I'm not judging you. Believe me, I, I... I know what it's like to feel an attraction for someone you're not supposed to feel an attraction for and then give in to that attraction. When you were conceived, I was still married to Jennifer. And Kim and I had to deal with the consequences. Allowing Seth to make love to you. You, too, will have to deal with consequences. I wanted him so much, nothing else mattered. Does Mother know? Oh, no. Franny asked me not to tell her yet. I'm going... I'm going to leave, Father. I'm going home to England. Running away has never solved anything. It's not going to help you, or Franny, or Seth, resolve this. For the sake of this family, I guess the only thing to do is to... Is to confront it and as difficult as it seems to, to talk about it and, and try to work this out. You don't understand. I still love Seth. That hasn't changed and it never will. I can't face that. It hurts too much. What about the other people that have been hurt by this? I don't think it's your decision to make. You should stay here and see it through. I don't want to see Sabrina. I am blown away by what you've done. But I do love you. Good God, we just got you back. I don't want to lose you again. Bob, Isabel. Oh, Hello, Sabrina. Dr. Hughes. Yes, Sabrina, it's oh, Franny. Go talk to her. Sorry about that. I should have called before stopping by. That's all right. Um... Now, Franny's not home, and I don't know when she'll be home, Rod. If you want to leave her a message, yeah. Uh... No, no, that's okay. It can wait. I just figured she'd be home by now, since I know you're having a family get-together tonight to say goodbye to Betsy before she goes to Chicago. Well, yes, we were. I, uh... I think our plans have been changed. Sorry, I'm late. I thought we were going to cook dinner together. I know, but I got here early, so I thought I'd go ahead and get a head start. Oh, okay. So are you okay? I know you were really upset about Josh today. Yes, I'm okay. I've never seen him so angry. Well, I have. Where's Mama? Well, she's supposed to be resting, but you know Mama. She never does what she is supposed to do. <laughs> 
Your sister thinks she's a nurse already in intensive care, not one of her patients. <laughs> well, when I came in, what did I find what? but her sneaking in from the field Abby where she Taylor. probably oh, yeah. had been all day long? Well, what did Taylor. Dr. Dixon say? You should be resting. Yes, thank you. Oh, Dr. Dixon, all the rest of you are a bunch of old worry warts. I'm feeling fine now. And it was a beautiful, beautiful autumn day. Didn't he go to have some fresh air? Besides, with that far, most of the morning, somebody had to do the work. Oh, where did he go? Well, he went over to Franny's. He was still upset about the argument last night. Oh. I think Franny is still upset, too. Well, that doesn't make much sense. When Franny called last night, she really wasn't that upset. Then again, I don't understand how she could possibly get home when Ivor said she saw her out at the farm. Well, I wish they would have made up last night. I mean, the only reason they're arguing in the first place is because of Josh and because he is playing on Franny's sympathy. Yeah. Did you and Franny make it right? No, we didn't. Well, I guess you all ought to know. Franny's thinking about calling off the wedding. Hi, Grace. Hi. Coffee have... break time. Okay. Where's Logan been all day? Yeah, I haven't seen him since lunchtime. I don't know. He said something about running some errands in town. I'm so excited about your wedding. When's the big day? I don't know. We're real flexible. I guess it depends on our best man's schedule. When are you heading home for your brother's wedding? Well, the ceremony's supposed to be Sunday the 27th, but I'm sure there's going to be things to do before that. So how about I just give him a call right now, and we'll find out for sure, and then you can make your plans, all right? That would be great, honey. Hi, Maggie. It's Holden. Antonio's still out of town, so I come over here and help out when I can. Well, I bet that makes Mom real happy. Listen, is Seth where I need to speak to him? Well, um, I'm not really sure. Uh, hold on one sec. It's Holden. He wants to speak to Seth. I'll talk to him. Hi, sweetheart. It's Mama. Listen, Seth can't come to the phone right now. How are you? I'm doing fine, Mom. Everything's going real well. Listen, I need to speak to Seth. Um, it's about the wedding. I need to know exactly when he needs me out there and for how long. Well, he, he really can't come to the phone right now. Is something wrong, Mom? No, it's, it's, it's uh, just that, well, uh, Seth and Franny are talking about possibly postponing the wedding. Postponing it? Why? Well, I don't know, sweetheart. Um, Seth just told us the news. Well, Mom, I... I have to uh, talk to Seth about it. Y you, you want to call us back later? Yeah, sure. Bye bye. Holden was uh, wondering when he should come home for the wedding. Well, if the right things are going, I don't think there's going to be a wedding. Now, Seth, that's silly. Now, you and Fanny have fought before about Josh, and you. Meg, I don't want to go into it right now, all right? Now, I know you have very different opinions about. Damn it, Meg, I don't want to go into it. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm sure that Meg didn't mean to pry. It's just that, uh, it's just that we're very concerned. I mean, you love Franny so much, and uh, we've been planning this wedding for so long, and we, we really can't understand why there'd be any reason why you'd want to postpone it. Why don't we go out and uh, do some chores? I'm going to go change my clothes, and I'll meet you. Meg. Okay. I'll meet you out in the barn. No, I, um...
It's Sabrina, isn't it? James. Hmm. Paul's got the movie ready to roll. All right, we'll be in a second, son. Who were you talking to on the phone before? Emily? No. Simon, he was bringing me up to date on Mr. Duncan McKechnie's activities. Well, Paul was telling me that uh, Emily's been asking a lot of questions about who your friend is here in town. I don't think it's such a good idea she find out. Emily won't find out anything unless I choose to tell her. Yeah, but Paul and Emily spend a lot of time together alone. He could slip up and tell her. Look, why don't you not worry about Paul and Emily and think about some of the mistakes you've been making lately? <laughs> well, you can relax on that score. I've got that bumbling rookie cop routine working like a charm. Mac and Munson both threw a fit today over something stupid I did. Of course I set the whole thing up myself. Believe me, nobody suspects a thing. Mm -hmm. Doris Pierpont did. And I took care of that, didn't I? But you wouldn't have had to take care of it had you not made the mistake. Look, how did I know she was in the dressing room at Fashions when I snuck in the back way to call you? Besides, I got rid of her before she told anybody what she'd heard. <laughs> Even dumped her body in McKechnie's bed. We just can't afford any more mistakes like that. Especially not now, now that Tom Hughes is back in the DA's office. Don't worry about Tom. He's got his hands full trying to keep his marriage together. He and Hal Munster are at each other's throats over Margot. Oh, you should see the sparks fly. And I'm doing everything I can to fan the flames. Trust me, boss. I have everything under control. Franny, welcome surprise. I wasn't sure if you'd still be here. Oh, we public servants never take a break. Come on in, come on in. So what's up? Do you, do you have a minute? Sure. Hey, what is it? Oh, it's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Um, I've, um, I've called off the wedding. What? Why? It says it involves someone else's time. Stop, I can't believe that. Are you sure? It's, um, it's, it's Sabrina. She was swimming at the Snyder Pond last night. Seth went down there and he thought she was me and they made love. Wait a minute, he, he mistook Sabrina for you, but, but how? I mean, I know you two look incredibly alike, but a man should certainly we know... We never made love, Tom. We were... We were waiting until after we were married. I see this. Franny, I can see how upset you are. This is almost an impossible thing to get past. Take it from somebody who knows. I mean, every time I see Margo with Hal, it's like someone's driving a knife through my heart. I know, Tom. But if she were to walk through that door right now... And want to get back together, I, I take her back with, without even thinking about it. I mean, sometimes I think maybe I just have too much pride when it comes to love. Real, true love. Pride has nothing to do with it. Why in God's name wouldn't Sabrina try to stop you? She's in love with him, Tom. I mean, I, I, I knew about it. I even told Seth about it, but he just shrugged it off. And, and now I, I know why. Well, why? Because he has feelings for her, too, even though he won't ad admit them. I've seen the way he looks at her. His novel's called Sabrina. It's all about her. I don't think it was a mistake, Tom. I think that he knew he was making love to Sabrina, and he wanted to. I don't know what to say. I know what I'd like to do. I'd like to go punch your mouth. No, I don't. This is the... I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laying all this under you. You have enough problems of your own. Don't, don't ever apologize for coming to me with your problems. I'm your big brother, that's why I'm here. Honey, I wish I could help, but I'm afraid this is something that you and Seth are going to have to handle together. You still love him, don't you? Otherwise, this would be so hard. Then you have to talk to him, honey. Get him to realize his feelings for Sabrina to see if, see if what you suspect is really true. Yeah, if it is. Then you have to deal with it. Find a way like I'm trying to do with Mark and Hal. Honey, I'm sorry. Well, I just hope whatever problem that Seth and Franny have, that they resolve it soon. Oh, I always thought if two people love one another enough, everything was possible. No, I'm not so sure anymore. What, are you and Tony having problems? No. No, 
know. I mean, we've had some disagreements, like when he took over Craig's company. I told him I didn't like that. But I think the real problem is that you don't let him into the family. And I just really wish that you could see that what he's trying to do is just business. It really is just... Funny. I used to hate farm work. Now that I don't have to do it, I don't seem to mind it so much. God, I remember when I was just going into high school, you know, 13, 14. Oh, I wish I could be back there. Yeah. Life was so much simpler then. Well, maybe it was for you, but the part of my life I'd like to forget. I'm sorry. That's okay. I can't imagine what it was like for you, having to carry Lily all alone and knowing you had to give her up. Well, I really didn't have a choice. I had to give her up. I knew I couldn't raise her alone. Because what Josh did to me, I, I couldn't go to Mom and Papa. You know, they, I just wish I would have realized that I, I could have talked to them about it. Things would be a lot different now. You know, I, I, I was... I know how much Tonio wants a, a son, you know, to carry on the name and everything. And I, I was thinking that maybe if I got pregnant... Meg, a baby is not going to solve anything. Do you understand? There is nothing to solve, I keep telling you. It's just... just a few disagreements. That's all. Honest. Hey, who's that? I don't know, it's probably Seth. Seth, we're up here! What are you doing here, after what happened in the hospital today? That's why I'm here, Iva. I have to talk to Meg. of As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Scope. Now the power of Scope comes in peppermint, too. And by Pringles Potato Chips, regular light rippled cheesums and sour cream and onion. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. the office, Tom? Uh, no, I'm at Dad and Kim's. Listen, there's, there's been a family crisis of sorts here. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cancel our appointment for this evening. Oh, dear. Nothing serious, I hope. Uh, look, I know you're up against a deadline on this Philadelphia offer, so tell you what, if I can manage to get out of here later, I'll give you a call and come by. Well, you really don't have to do that. Look, if Philadelphia wants me so badly, they can wait a day or two, right? Be with your family tonight. It's much more important. Thank you, Taylor. Okay, then I'll give you a call from the office tomorrow. We'll set up a new time to talk. Okay, give my best to your family. Okay, bye. How's there coming, Casey? Fine. But Chef needs a little more grape juice. Oops. Guess we killed that bottle. But look. Reinforcements. <laughs> Actually, you killed that bottle all by yourself. So, are you really serious about leaving Memorial? Would you miss me if I did? Sure. I'm flattered. Look, Taylor, I have to apologize for the way I treated you when you first got here. That's all right, I understand. I just hope that you and Lila can work things out now. Well, I'm having a feeling that that is a lost cause. Maybe it's for the best. Don't kid yourself, Casey. You still love her, don't you? Yeah. And the more she pushes you away, the more you'll want her. That's your pattern. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to start psychoanalyzing you. Do I really do that? Well, let's just say that when we were together, the more I turned you down, the more it 
you seem to be turned on. Get out of here. No, no, I just like a challenge. That's all. Here, here, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a friend. Yeah, you had that torture moment. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't have enough friends, right? <laughs> I wonder where Tom is. Oh, I forgot to tell you. He called while you were in the kitchen. He's not going to be able to make it. Something about a family crisis. Oh. Hope it doesn't have anything to do with Franny and Seth. Well, what makes you think that it would? Well, I saw them having a heart-to-heart -heart talk in the cafeteria today. And Franny was so upset. Jeez, she was crying and everything. Ah, why is love to be so difficult? It doesn't always have to be. It just depends on the two people involved. When I talked to Sabrina, she told me what happened. Did Sabrina explain how she let this happen? Her only defense was that she's in love with Seth. Well, to this lawyer's ears, that sounds like damn little no, in the way of a... Don't. I knew she was falling in love with Seth, but I never dreamt it would lead to... I... I... I knew. I knew. I even talked to Seth about it. He just denied it. Honey, I can only imagine how hurt and just upset you must be about this whole thing. But if, if it's any consolation at all, Sabrina feels she's betrayed you. Too bad she didn't think about that before she let Seth make love to her. Is Sabrina still in her room? Yes, and I think you all ought to know that she's planning to go back to England right away. Well, that could all be for the best. I don't agree with that, son. Running away never solves anything. I told her that, too. Honey, if she decides to go back, there's nothing we can do about it, except that I think that you and Sabrina somehow have to settle this. I've talked to her, Dad. I have nothing more to say. Not now, anyway. Franny, you've got to say something to say. No matter how much it's going to hurt, you, you can't keep avoiding it. May... You're trespassing. Iva, I came here to apologize to your sister Meg. You came here to cause more trouble. You've already caused enough between Franny and Seth. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you talking about? Hey. Tr oh, Mrs. Oh, no. Go, Meg. What? Oh. I'll be all right. Meg, are you up there? Uh, uh, yes, Mama. Yeah, I am. Don't come up. I'll, I'll be right down. Don't tell her. Just don't tell her. Are you sure? Yes, go. What is she talking about? Stay right there. Stay right there. I'm not going to harm you, Iva. You got it all wrong. Just like you misunderstood that day in the barn with me and Lily. If I misunderstood anything, it's because I knew what you were capable Look, of. Look, I didn't come here to argue with you, okay? I came here to apologize to your sister. Well, you can just save your apologies. You know what? You haven't changed one bit. I saw the way you grabbed Meg in the cafeteria today. Just the same way you grabbed me 18 years ago. I didn't mean to grab her like that. I know that I still got a lot of anger all built up inside of me, and that's what I'm trying to work through with Dr. Michaels. Because of the way Henry abused me. That's why I'm talking to Franny and the other students in her seminar. To learn how to deal with that. Oh, isn't that great? Isn't that just great? But did you know that abuse does not justify rape? I mean, Do you know that? Rape. Is Dr. Michaels teaching you that? You know, you can just save your well, stop, 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 The truth. The truth That's is, right. you want to hear the truth? You've been a problem since you've come here. Just look at all the trouble you caused between Seth and Franny. I don't know what this trouble is that you keep talking about. I haven't said a word to Franny in weeks. I've done everything I can to stay away from that girl. Because I know how much she loves Seth. And I don't want to be a problem between them. Well, you know what? You're just a little bit too late. Franny and Seth had a fight about you last night, and now she's thinking about calling off the wedding. Oh, boys, you never learned, do you? Meg came and told me you were down here. I couldn't believe it, but sure enough, here you are. Seth, I'm going to go down. You lay a hand I'm on me. Take care of this. I'm going to defend myself. Look, I don't want to fight. Yeah, you should have thought of that before you came out. <laughs> Come on, huh? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
not Josh. It came between Franny and me. It was something much worse. What are you talking about? You know, last night after we had our argument, you told me that you saw Franny swimming down at the pond. So I went down there. I found her on the shore. She looked so... so beautiful standing in the moonlight. So wet from her swim. I don't want to argue anymore. So I... before she could speak, I put my hand over her mouth. I kissed her. I wanted her so much. 
Because it wasn't Franny that was standing there in the moonlight. It was Sabrina. You, golden girl. Is it more Chianti? No thanks, Doc. Well, in that case... Another bottle bites the dust. That was a great dinner, Casey. You make a wonderful spaghetti carbonara. It's Lila's favorite. Oh. Casey, 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 you're only gonna make yourself more miserable. I forgot how funny you can be. Yeah, well, I forgot how great you look in a bikini. If you call that thing you wear at the Yacht Club a bikini... <laughs> Uh-oh, too hairy, huh? <laughs> no, no, I mean, for most women, yeah, but, um, you can pull it off. And you know why? Because you, Sarah Baldwin, you are a class act. You are definitely a class act. Definitely. And you definitely need some coffee. And then I think I'm going to have to drive you back to the residence dorm because you're in no conditional hand guilt getting home by yourself. All right. Casey? Casey. So much for Italians being able to handle their vino. Well, check and mate. How did you do that? I'll go check on the grill. James. Paul seems a little antsy. Oh, he just needs a little change of scenery, that's all. You didn't tell him you were moving into Lucinda's house in Ruxton Hills, did you? No, I told him we were moving, but not where. Only you, me, and Charles Pearson know where. And, well, of course, Lucinda, but she's not going to say anything. Well, what about Simon and Geraldine? Did you tell them? No. You know, now that Shannon O'Hara suspects them, maybe we'd be better off without them. I could arrange a little accident. You don't arrange anything unless I say so. Clear? Sure. You're the boss. <laughs> you know, putting that effigy of Shannon O'Hara in Duncan McKechnie's moat was a stroke of genius. No, I'm not so sure about that. It was meant to drive her away. It seems it's brought uh, Shannon and Duncan closer together. And let me eliminate McKechnie. No. I've told you before. Now the police have two suspects in the Falcon case. If anything happens to McKechnie, the finger points directly at me. Oh, excuse me, I have a little assignment for you. <laughs> it's too bad we can't use this anymore, now that Hal and Margot have figured out that this is the Falcon's calling card. Yes. Well, I'll come up with a new way of identifying myself to my associates. In the meantime, this can be very useful. I want you to plan it where the police will find it. In Duncan McKechnie's possession. Thanks, Grace. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you like the ring, Gracie? Like it? I, I love it, honey. Well, well, then why the long face? Well, I guess I feel kind of guilty. I'm so happy, and those poor kids are so miserable. It's too bad. Holden's so close to his family, and Lily's doing everything she can to keep a good distance from hers. Yeah, but I think she's softening up now. Given a little time, I think Holden's going to be able to talk her into going back home. 
I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, I do. For them. But if they leave, I'm gonna really miss them. They've gotten to be like family to me. Yeah, to me too. Turns out we're pretty good parents. <laughs> uh, certainly does give you something to think about, doesn't it? Oh, Logan, we're both too old to start a family. Why, we oh, could hey, never... Hey, whoa, now aren't you the woman who keeps saying to me, never say never? Grace, can you change this for me? Oh, I gotta, I gotta call home, because it's really driving me crazy, and I gotta find out what's going on back there. That's a good idea. Thanks. Holden's really worried about his brother, Seth. Tell me something, Lily. Does this brother of his have that same jealous streak? No, not that I've seen. Franny is so in love with Seth, she would never give him a reason to be jealous. Well, you never gave Holden a reason either, but that didn't stop him from making up one. Hi, Iva. It's Holden. Hi, Holden. Look, you want to tell me what's going on back home? Look, just put Seth on the phone, all right? Well, I really don't think he can talk right now. No, I can... I can talk to him. Wait here. I'll leave this here for you. Okay, wait a minute, Holden. Hey, Holden. Seth. Hey, what's going on back there? Mama said that you and Franny may be postponing the wedding. Well, uh, she may put it off altogether now. Why? Did you guys have a fight or something? Not exactly. Uh, Nick, I really don't want to go into it now. Uh, okay? Okay, but if you want me to come home, you just let me know, all right? I will. Well, there's really nothing you can do. Um, it's just something I have to work out myself. I gotta go. I'll, I'll call you in the morning, huh? We'll leave you two alone for a moment. I think you should hold his back now. 